You can't expect someone to be the president of one of the most powerful countries in the world and not receive any crazy perks with that title. So today, let's take a deep dive and talk about some of the financial perks Joe Biden will be enjoying in the years to come. Before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, click the bell icon and subscribe to Tech Division so you don't miss a single video. Alright, let's get to it. Number 10. Six Figure Salary in 2001, the presidential salary was raised from $200,000 to $400,000 by Congress, which included an annual $50,000 expense allowance for any personal expenses the president might have. The salary is quite hefty, but if you take into account the fact that the previous president was earning much more than that, it loses some value. But let's be honest, unless you're a billionaire, that's a pretty decent paycheck. Apart from those incomes, the president also receives a travel budget of $100,000 as well as a $19,000 allowance for entertainment purposes. Number 9. Living in the White House The White House has been the home of US presidents since 1792. The place has had running water since 1833, central heating since 1837, and even got an elevator installed back in 1881. As times have progressed, the White House is now worth a lot more than the amount used to originally construct it. Costing around $230,000 to build, the White House has 132 rooms, six floors, a bowling alley, a chocolate store, a swimming pool, and a fully equipped fitness center. New presidents even get an allowance to refurbish the place as they please. Number 8. Redecorating Budget not only does the President of the United States get to live in the White House, but they also get a $100,000 budget to redecorate the place as they please and make it feel more like home. Other than redecorating, a transition budget is also set, which covers everything from office space to staff compensation. According to reports, Obama's 2008 transition totaled nearly $9 million, but some reports suggest that the Obamas did not accept the allowance and instead used their own funds. Number 7. Natural Produce and Chefs Imagine never having to go shopping for groceries ever again. That's one of the perks that come with being the president. Michelle Obama started work on a garden during her husband's presidency, and the tradition was carried forward by Melania. But there has to be someone present who actually knows how to work with all of these ingredients. Currently, Christetta Comerford is the executive chef in the White House and has been for over 15 years. She is responsible for preparing the menus and food items for White House events. Susan Morrison is the White House pastry chef, because why wouldn't you have a pastry chef if you could? One of her many responsibilities includes designing and creating gingerbread houses each Christmas. That must be a treat. Number 6. Presidential Limousine you can't expect to be the President of the United States without having a slick ride. The presidential limo, also known as the Beast, weighs in at approximately 20,000 pounds. The vehicle is designed to protect the Commander-in-Chief from virtually any form of attack, with it even having medical supplies including the President's own blood type. Not only is the car bulletproof, it is also secure against biochemical attacks and is equipped with run-flat tires in case the Beast needs to quickly escape from a sticky situation. A well-fit car for the President. Number 5. Pension even after a president has left office, they are still able to receive a handsome pension. The former President's Act outlined a taxable pension close to the sum that many executive department heads were making. In 2016, the likes of George Bush, Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter all received annual pensions of $205,000. Number 4. Health Insurance Health insurance is a big topic of controversy in the United States, but if you're the president, you have nothing to worry about. The US president is almost always accompanied by a White House doctor because you never know when a health concern may arise. Even the well-known Air Force One is fully equipped with an operation room just in case of an emergency. According to Business Insider, after President Trump was diagnosed with COVID-19, the resulting medical bill was around $650,000. Number 3. Housekeepers and Staff Members 
You wouldn't expect a few people to be looking after a White House with over 130 rooms. There are hundreds of staff members that currently live in the White House, including maids, cooks, plumbers, florists, and a head housekeeper. However, the first family does not get these costs covered. According to former First Lady Laura Bush, the president is billed at the end of each month for all the hours waiters and other crew members have spent keeping the house in order. Number 2. Camp David Country Home Camp David is located in the Catoctin Mountain Park in Maryland and is much like a retreat for acting presidents to enjoy if they need a break. The retreat is fully equipped with a gym, a swimming pool, and even an aircraft hangar. It's been there since the days of Franklin D. Roosevelt and will probably be around for a long time to come. Number 1. Air Force One out of all the financial perks the president gets, and believe us, there's a lot more of them, having access to the Air Force One jet is perhaps the most exciting. The customized Boeing 747-200B is essentially a mobile command center, fully equipped with a living space for the president, a medical operating room, and food supplies that can last for months. So essentially, the aircraft is a home in the sky for the president, with the capability to carry out full broadcasts from the air. Furthermore, it has space and supplies to support a fully functioning office. According to CNN, it costs about 200 grand an hour to keep the Air Force One above the ground. So what do you think about all these cool perks? Do you think it's excessive or does the president deserve it all and more? Make sure to let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. See you next time.